Here's an interesting one for you. This is my 1985 ITT 2500 set. Now, ITT slash Cortelco, I mean, ITT and Cortelco are the same thing. But anywho, um, ITT slash Cortelco is basically a Western Electric slash AT&T slash Bell System clone company, basically making everything at a cheaper price and making them high quality so that they can be just as good as Western Electric slash the Bell System or AT&T and at a much affordable price. So anyway, here's the phone. It's a pretty nice one. Here's the handset. It's got a Western Electric G3 type handset, which the 500s had used. Here's the receiver and there's the transmitter. The only difference is, is the branding. It says ITT over here. And, and the handset, it has a little slope there, which is not too visible on Western Electric phones. Um, it also says on the back, um, ITT, if you can make it out with the slightly poor lighting. Well, as I've, as I've probably mentioned, and if you guys don't know, these, these design, traditional designs, Western Electric, sorry, couldn't think of anything there. Anywho, um, Another thing about this cool design is that um, it has a, um, what I call a holds feature. So if you just pick up the hand, pick up the handset, just, if you, if, if you, um, if you answer the phone, it's not for you, you can just set the handset like that. You have some place to set it. Or if after you check for dial tone, if you were dialing out, you can rest it like that. So it's just a couple of cool things about the design. Yeah, but anyway, here's the um, keypad. It's an alphanumeric keypad, which is pretty normal here in the States. Um, the keypad is quiet, but it does have a nice smooth sound to it. And that's a pretty nice sound. It's kind of like a, a, um, um, a 1980s computer keyboard. It's kind of clunky, but kind of quiet. It's basically a low-profile type of um, keypad. Um, this this keypad is also one of the early models as one of the early models of the membrane-style mechanism rather than individual mechanical buttons. So the keys do feel and sound very different. Here's the uh, handset cord. It's, it's, it's kind of like a shorthand 12 foot cord and it's and it's modular as is the line cord. Right there. And on the base. Um, it's not, not much to say on it. Here's the ringer adjustment there for soft and loud. Here's the uh, FCC rule sticker. There was, some of it is torn off from a previous owner. That's because this was actually a gift to me from someone. I can't say because of, you know, identity protection. But there you go, just the basic 2500. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's more or less clean. Some parts I may have missed, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. Got a blank number card there. So let me just show you the tones before I do an, do any any further explanation. That way you guys can see working for you all. Yay! Let me just, just set it somewhere. I'm sorry about that. And if you hear any ringing, don't mind that because this is plugged into my um, telephone line emulator, which I did a video on. 
There you go, just a basic 2500 and it's, it's keypad. And I kind of find it pretty cool though. Now, this phone does ring and all that other stuff. Let me just, hold on a minute. Let me just, I don't know what the camera's looking at. I'm just gonna have to bear with me. There we go. Yeah, like I said, this does ring. Let me just put the bell on the softest setting. That way you can hear the differences between the different types of volumes. So, without further lecture, here goes. That's soft. There you are. Um, not sure if I said, but the plungers are clear. Yeah, and they're clear. And here's the cradle. So, that was it, y'all. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet, and you'll see more of content from me. Also, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified for every video I post. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Stick around for more, and as always, thanks for watching. Light it up, Blue Dude, signing off.